One of the most important parts about being a print-on-demand seller who is successful and can make sales day after day and really build a shop that can make long-term income is knowing how to make a good design, but also knowing how to make a good design really fast. In print-on-demand, a lot of times the more listings you upload to your shops are going to directly translate into more sales and more money in your pocket. And if you're spending hours and hours over every single design, that's really Really not going to help you move the needle in your business. So I'm a huge fan of finding ways to make designs in just a few minutes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make three completely different design styles that take less than five minutes each. We're going to be making these totally from scratch and you can use these same styles to make tons of different niches over and over again. So let's not waste any more time and just jump right into it. Now today I have partnered with Kittle who is the design suite that I use pretty much all the time. And while we are going to be making these designs from scratch today on Kittle, I did want to mention that they also have a huge catalog of pre-made templates. So sometimes the best way to make a design fast is to not start completely from scratch. So you can scroll through all of their templates and a lot of these designs, if you have your own phrase, it just takes a few seconds to switch out the words that are here. And then you have a 100% unique design that you can use on your Etsy shop, on your Amazon merch store. Even after years as a print on demand seller, I still use templates and especially Kittle's templates all the time. So if you're not a super experienced designer yet, this is a great place to start, but also you can use any of these really easy designs that I'm going to teach you today. So what I'm first going to do is just click new project and I am going to make this in their t-shirt size and go ahead and create that canvas. Now this first design, I decided to make in one of the niches that I shared with you guys just a couple weeks ago in my popular niches video. And that is kind of a baby announcement themed shirt. Now we still have a little bit of time before Christmas, although we are getting close to the end of the year, but I thought it could be really fun to make this design for like a Christmas pregnancy announcement. Now, if you are really unsure with what niches to even start with when it comes to print on demand, I have a full free workshop for you guys that's going to take you through one of my favorite ways to do that and you can sign up down below. I'll send all the information to your inbox if you've never taken that free workshop before or if you want to take it again just as a new refresher. But we're going to get started on this design and it is going to be in that really popular kind of groovy retro style. If you've never made it before, this is actually a really simple design style to make. So all I'm going to do is start by adding some text. So I'm going to go over here and add a headline and we'll just make that a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And I thought it could be fun for this to say something like eating Christmas cookies for two. So I am going to change this first line of text to just say eating. Now this is going to be a completely text-based design, which I have found actually does really well in my print on demand business. I have lots of designs with graphics on them, but sometimes just a simple text-based design is all you need to make a ton of sales. So now after that, the first thing I'm going to do before I make all the other lines of text is I am going to find the text style that I want to use. Now, I really like a groovier retro type style for this type of design. So I'm going to pick this one called Sunny Drop here. Now, all I'm going to do is just duplicate that and add each new word. All right, so we have all of the text that we're going to use. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this text a little bit bigger until it takes up about the full canvas width across. And I'm just going to repeat that with all of these, taking up as much space as possible. All right, that is already looking super cute, but we have just two more steps to make this even better and a very sellable design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the coloring on this to be a little bit more Christmassy. And since this is for a mom, I thought we could do kind of a combination maybe of like red and pink. So let's go ahead and change this bottom line to a fun red color. All right. And then I am just going to click on this here. I'm going to first change it to that red color, but then I'm going to actually make it a little bit lighter here. And then I'm going to continue doing that where I pick the last color and then I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit. And then same thing with this last one, except I think I'm going to make it really like a light pink color. Okay. That looks really cute and kind of has a nod to Christmas with that red. But the final step in this process is going to be distorting this to kind of give it that wavy groovy font that is so, so popular. So all I'm going to do is click on each box of text and go down to where it says transform 
transformation and I am going to click where it says distort. So that's going to let me customize the distortion I want to do. Now all I'm going to do is click the second to last dot here and curve it up like this. And then we are going to repeat that with every single line of text distort. But for this one, I am going to raise up this bottom to match that curve I already made. And then I'm going to raise up this right here and repeat that for the word cookies, distort, match this wave here, add a little wave to the bottom. And then for the last line, kind of like the top, we are just going to distort this one side here so it stays kind of a rectangle shape. Now you could totally add some other elements, but for this purpose, this is totally done. And let's see what it would look like on a mock-up here. Now that looks so cute. And you could totally use this exact same style for almost any niche out there that's mainly text-based. So this is a great tool to have in your toolbox. One I go back to over and over again and make all the time. And you can add a lot of different variations to this, but a really simple design that just takes a few minutes. Now our next design is going to be almost just as simple, if not even more so. And I was thinking to target kind of the niche of like camping slash lake living. So I'm going to go ahead and click a new project and make sure it's that t-shirt size. And I think for this shirt, I want to make it specifically for a black style t-shirt. Now I've seen the phrase trending before something like on cabin time or on camp time, but I thought that could work even for like a lake type design. So maybe I want to say something like on lake time or living on lake time. I thought that could be really fun. So I'm going to first add a bit of text here and I'm going to change that color to white for some good contrast and then make that a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to go ahead and say living on lake time. Now we're going to change this up in a second, but first I'm going to find a graphic that we're going to use for this design. Now I really like using simple circular graphics with just one line of curved text. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm going to go over to the elements here and I think I'm going to look up something like lake sunset. Circular sunset designs sell really, really well and they have for a number of years. So I think this could be a great one to use. So there's a lot of different options here and it doesn't necessarily have to be a circle. We could do something like that, but I'm going to keep looking and see what I can find. I actually think this one might work really well. It's just a cute, simple graphic. Now I'm going to go ahead and resize this to take up a lot more space here. And then this bit of text, I think I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's see, this adventurer one could be really cute. That kind of gives me camping vibes. This Baroness font, actually, I really like how that is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this font a little bit bigger here. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really look super cohesive right now with the circle and then just kind of a line of text. It doesn't look very formatted or like I did anything intentional. So all I'm going to do is like we did with the last one, go down to transformation, but I am going to click circle and that is going to format this right around our graphic here. And we can kind of mess around with that until the arch looks perfect. So that's looking really good, but I'm feeling like the letters look a little bit squished. So this right here is going to move the spacing between these letters. So I'm just going to add a little bit of space here until I'm happy with how that looks. All right, that's looking really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this up to the top here. And now one more thing I could do to just make this look a little bit more cohesive if I wanted to is take the color and actually use this dropper tool here to change it to be a color that's actually in this design. So we could do something like this green or maybe even this blue would look really nice. Then once we're happy with that, let's go ahead and see what it would look like on a mock-up. All right, now again, this is a super simple design, but it's one you can use for so many different niches. I've made literally hundreds of these kind of retro type sunset designs that just have a couple simple lines of text, but they sell really, really well. It's just a very classic t-shirt design style. So let's go back to our editor and finish off by making one more design. And I think this one is truly the most versatile and the easiest of all of these. So let's go ahead and make a new project. Now this design style that I'm going to show you, since it's for all text, it really works well for trending phrases that are a little bit longer. Now it doesn't specifically have to be for this, but I find that this kind of design style works really well for like sarcastic type t-shirts because a lot of times those have longer jokes, longer phrases that you're putting on a shirt and they don't necessarily need a graphic to go 
along with them to support kind of the funny message of the t-shirt. So this design style works very, very well. So like with the others, the first thing I'm going to do is just add a line of text here. Now I actually had seen a really similar phrase trending when I was doing some research for designs to upload. And so I want to create a design that says something like, I don't know, I just work here. It's very sarcastic, a great design for people to give around the holidays. I find that shirts with jokes, shirts that are very funny, sell really, really well around this time of year. So I thought this could be a really great phrase. All right, so before we add the rest of the lines of text, we're first just going to pick out the font we want to use for this. Now, I always love to use a very bold, boxy, distressed type of font. So actually that Baroness we used for the last design could work, but I think I want something more like this one. It's like the insect moksha. That looks really good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this and continue with this phrase. All right, so we have all of our lines of text and really similar to that groovy one we made first, I am going to make all of these lines of text take up the full width of the shirt. The bigger design you can make a lot of times for print on demand, the better it's going to do because people can really see and read it. So actually I'm going to just go ahead and align all of these in the corner right here. All right. And once those are all aligned, I am going to select them all and resize them until it fills up the full canvas and then go ahead and center this. All right. And that just took a few seconds, but it's already ready to go. Now you certainly could change some of the colors on this. You could add other elements too, but for our purposes, it's completely ready to download. So I'll go ahead and show you a mock-up of what it would look like on an actual t-shirt. All right, this is so simple, but it looks really good. And this type of shirt really does sell. So if you ever have a phrase or a funny saying, this is kind of a good go-to. Like I said before, Kittle is pretty much my go-to design suite. I love that they're really geared specifically towards print on demand sellers. So if you've never tried them before, I highly recommend getting started with them. I was working with their pro plan that they have, but they also have a few different tiers of accounts, including a free one. That's really awesome to get started with. So I'll have all their information linked down below, as well as that workshop for finding a really good niche to work with. And if you're looking for even more inspiration and ideas, I highly recommend checking out my video all about some of the biggest niches of 2025. You definitely don't want to miss it because this is going to help you get ahead of all those trends before everybody else. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.